Welcome to the session. In this session, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle 21C database on OEL 7, Oracle Enterprise Linux 7. Okay, for that, we need to download the Oracle Enterprise Linux software, and then we need to install this. Then we need to download the Oracle database software that we need to place on the server. Okay, for that, uh, where we need to download the software, we can use edelivery.oracle.com. There we can download it. Let me show you that. Here is the site, edelivery.oracle.com. Then we need to log into this one. With our, uh, anyone can able to log in with their personal mail IDs. Okay, then here you can select Oracle. If you want to download the OEL, like Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.3 or uh, uh, 7 plus or 8 versions, you can search here Oracle Linux 7. That's it. And then wait for uh, all the softwares loaded. Once it is done, OEL 7.9, 7.8, whatever you want. You just select it, it will add to this cart. Here it will show, right? That will, the same way we need to download the database also, 21C. So type 21C and search it. You will get 21.3 uh, versions. Here all uh, different, different versions we are having. Oracle database 21C. Let me search here. Here it is. Oracle database 21.3. Select it, it will add to cart. Okay, then you can continue. So we have two softwares we have added. One is Linux, another one is database one. Here, which platform you are going to use? Linux, right? Here we are going to use that Linux one. For this is by default, it is in Linux only that will select. On client grid infrastructure, if you want to install a grid, you can search it, but in our case, it is not required. I'm not uh, going to download those things and click continue. Accept this here, then click on next. Here is our uh, software. Even though here in Linux, we no need of all these things. If, if you want to go with ISO image, uh, full bit, it's a 4.3 GB. These things are not required. Or else if you want to go with the DVD, you can go with that. Uncheck all the unwanted things, only select this thing. Yep, that's it then. You just click the download. It will download automatically. For this session, I already downloaded and installed the Linux software. This database software also, I have already downloaded and placed in my server. Let me show you, it is a 496, right? So let me show you. Here it is, version 496. This, this thing I already have in my server. This is the one which I have downloaded. Okay, once we have downloaded and then we can use WinSCP to copy that servers or else you can create one uh, shared drive, uh, shared uh, driver mount point on your virtual box. I'm using this uh, standby thing. Here is my shared folder. This shared folder I used for my software location. So from there, I'm directly using this, okay. Now I have, after we uh, downloaded this, we need to create a directory for home, okay. That home I already created, this one, where I'm going to install 21C database. For that, uh, we need to set up a bash profile also. LSF and LTR, let me open or read this bash underscore profile. Here is the setup. Okay, what is my home location? What is my base locations? And what is my SID racks? I mentioned RACS is my SID. Even I, I'll put a database name also RACS. Okay, that that's all I uh, have done it. If you want, you can, I'll, I'll paste this uh, bash profile in my video description. You can read that as well. So we have downloaded the softwares and uh, Linux already installed. Software also I have unzipped. Now we can uh, ready to invoke the run installer to configure your database, okay? Let me clear the screen. Go to Oracle home location. How to unzip the software? From here, you can use unzip. I find the version which you want to unzip. I find the, the home location. This is my home location. This command I used. Okay. As and when you have installed your Linux, right? You name iPhone R. Okay. As part of this database, we, we need to install the prerequisite, uh, so I mean RPMs. 
that is i'll show you m install if you use m install oracle uh, database that will automatically create a user oracle user that will create complete the setup will done by this uh, rpm only i'll show you that rpm history pipe grip m here it is if you want to install the database to lc you can use uh, i think it's a different thing okay oracle database to lc i can pre-install but 21c is same and this is the rpm if you it is a required prerequisite if you install this one it will create automatically the oracle user and also these groups o install dba o power backup dz backup all these groups it will create it okay that is done now we can uh, we are ready to install the software okay i am in home location pwd here it, uh, here we have run installer command should be there check here it is forward slash enter so we will get this gui this is the 21c database one if you want to install only the software, we can do it. If you want to create the database also, we can do it. We have two options here. Create and configure a single instance database. This option create a starter uh, the database. It will create the database and it will start up. If you want to do manually, first you can create the database software. Then you can use dbca command. Okay, here I'm going to use the create and configure. Both the things will done with it which version you want to choose desktop we, we we don't have much functionalities or features but if you can go with the server classes we will get more production data centers are used with these server classes for your demo purpose or development purpose you can use the desktop class a standard version is a less uh, cost of the license we will get a limited uh, features or functionalities but in enterprise edition cost also high we will get more future features, high availability, security, performance related. Also, this is the base. This directories we need to create as part of the directory structure. I have created the home path as I as shown you here. See, this is my base location. Okay, inside of the base location, the same path, U0 app, I'll show you that, where I have created CD U01 app. In this location, I have created what I inventory path. If you are not created, it will, while you are installing this one, right? That will pick automatically and it will create it. This is my base path, okay? This is my base path. Under base path, I have uh, product is there. Then 21C. Earlier, I have installed the same path 19C DB, but now I am trying to install the 21C. Same path we need to create and then we need to unzip the software in this location. Done. Then keep it at default and then click on next. Okay, what purpose you are going to create this database for data warehousing? Uh, it is for uh, storing like rep uh, any reporting purpose or uh, long term storage and all. It's a warehouse, but we are going to use this the general uh, transactional purpose only. So take this one, it's a real time also. We are going to create as a DBA this one. Data warehouses we have separate uh, team also will be there. If it is required for the database or data warehousing, we will have to select this. And what the database name, global database name, which you want. I have already given the racks uh, is my uh, SID name. I'll keep the same thing for uh, global name also. Okay. RACS. Racks is my uh, global database name. Here you can observe one thing. Uh, in 21C onwards, we don't have any option like whether you want container or non-container. That option is not there. By default, it is picking up the PDBs. If you want, you can modify the name, okay, PDB, that's it. But we don't have any uh, non-multi-tenant architecture here. 21C onwards, we have to have uh, multi-tenant only. There is no non-multi-tenant architecture. That's why we don't have an option here. And how much keep it as it is the memory and all. Okay. No need to reset anything. Character set also it is by default AL32 UTF8. That is fine. No need to modify anything. Keep it as it is. Then here our data files are going to store what our data location. This mount point already, I mean directory already there. If you are using ASM, you can choose this one. But I'm using local file system, so I'm keeping as it is. Now, if you want OEM, you can select this one. But uh, for that, we need to enable the other ports and host names and other things. 
So we are not going to create the OEM. If you want to enable the FRA, you can select enable it. For this uh, practical uh, demo purpose, I'm not going to enable the FRA. So if you want to keep uh, different different passwords for system sys, uh, system sys and uh, PDB admin, okay, you can keep it. But in my case, I'll use all these admins, not only these three, other admins also, I'll keep the same password. So for that I'm selecting that, welcome, okay. That's it. Then click next. So if you want to modify the uh, groups, my group, I can choose O install. Rest of the things I'll keep as it is. No need to change anything. Rag DBA, that's okay. KBMG over OS per, that's okay. Backup DB, I'll keep O install. DZ DB, that's okay. KMP. If you want to check uh, ID or I can. We have one install DB is there, Opa is there, backup DBA also there, backup DBA also there, DG DBA, KMP, and that's okay. Leave it as it is, keep as it is. So, this one uh, we will get root uh, scripts, root that is it's script to update your Vora inventory things. If you want uh, the script without prompting, select here, enter the root password. But in my case, I, I'll, I'll take it manually. I'll run that manually script. Okay, real time, right? We don't have a root user password. They will not share OSM. So once it is uh, showing you a root script, we will share those scripts through the mail. OSM will execute. Once they're done, they will get back to us and then we will uh, proceed further. So here it is. It will check the pre-checks. If anything is failed, uh, see it's a warning. Okay, what is happening? Current clock release source that is okay if you want to fix this warning you can click on fix and check again notes stand okay you can take this script copy connect it to root user and execute that script in the same server so i have uh, applied the fix it is successfully completed let me click on okay then it is it came further if you want you can go back Okay, now you can check again, no, no issues. It is directly shown us this part. If you want to save this one, you can save for next silent mode installation purpose. We are doing this is the GUI, graphical user interface one. If you want to do silent mode, you can use this response file, update all the parameters in that file, and then you can install that. As of now, I'm not going to save this. Click on install. So what it, what it does is it is going to install your software, then it is going to configure your database and also it will go uh, create your listeners and all network para parameters also, and then it will open the database. And one important thing is we don't have any other option to select non-multi-tenant or multi-tenant. In 19C also we have that option, whether you want to go with a container or uh, without container databases. But in 21C onwards, we have to have, uh, I mean, we don't have any other option apart from the container. It is by default container database, CDB, PDB only. Okay, let me pause it here and then I'll get back once it is done. This we need to execute through the root user, then connect it to a root user, which I already connected, then execute it. So do you need to override this one? Yes. These entries are added in the or ATC or a tab. Owner is Oracle and uh, 21C is the home details. Okay, why? Because I told you that earlier I have in 19C database in this part. So now I'm going to install 21C. That's it, the root dot. Uh, SH script has been updated or our I have entries. Then you can click OK. It will proceed. So what it is going to do, if you want to see, we can see these details also, what exactly that is going to do it. In the last, you can so see, it is going to prompt sys password, password, system and PDB1. Database percentage, 8% is completed. Okay, let it be, it, it will take another 15 minutes or uh, 20. 
and then I'll get back. So database is completed. Installation 21C. Now we can finish this one. This is our EM, but we did not configure the EM enterprise manager. Then click on close. Here it is, our log, database log, installation log. So let me check whether my database is up and running or not. As is DBA, yep, 21.3 is my version. Show PDBs, PDB is there, PDB seed is there, it is up and running. So let me open and let's pull more from the this. That's it, guys. So our database is up and running. Racks DB is our database. Thanks for watching.